Vegas here in Vegas. Although we didn't want to be, that was never part of our goal. Uh, we were uh, we started together in 1975, it's been 40 years. And uh, by 1985, we'd ended up off Broadway, and then shortly after that, on Broadway. And we were uh, we were New York hipsters. We thought that uh, New York was where we were going to end up. And then a guy by the name of Joel Fishman, uh, right down here, great Joel Fishman. He came to us and asked us to play uh, Atlantic City to work our first casino. And we told him, uh, no, absolutely not. We were too cool to work casinos. We wouldn't even consider it. That to us was like, uh, you know, painting fluorescent paints on velvet. We were, uh, we were far above that. We were snobbish about it. And we would not play Atlantic City. And when uh, Joel pushed us, we said that we were not going to go out there and do our, uh, you know, just flashy material. We wanted to do stuff that was, uh, you know, heavy and deep and strange and weird like we do. And uh, we wouldn't go over in Atlantic City. And Joel uh, begged to differ. And he gave us a deal that is astonishing. He told us that we could come and play Atlantic City. And we would go out there the first night. We would do any material we wanted. We could do the, uh, the stuff that we considered to be the strangest and the weirdest and the most non-casino entertainment possible. And uh, we would do it for that audience. And Joel promised us, did this, that if we did not like doing it, never mind the audience, if we did not like doing our New York hipster act in Atlantic City, that we could just go back to New York, not finish out the week, he'd put another act in there, and we'd still get paid for the full week. Pretty hard offer to turn down. So we went there and we actually tested Atlantic City. We tried to, uh, to hate performing there. We did stuff that was long, stuff that was what we considered to be smart, long monologues, spaces between tricks, uh, goofy ideas. And uh, Atlantic City that first night uh, blew us away. The audience was as good as we'd gotten off Broadway. It was as good as the hipster audience. It was as good as uh, any audience we'd ever had in New York. And we fell in love with casino audiences. Joel booked us many, many times in Atlantic City. And then Joel moved out to Las Vegas, Nevada. And uh, Joel brought us with him. He brought us into uh, Bally's in the Celebrity Room, which is now a hallway. And uh, we, uh, our goofy little act alternated with the greats of show business. We were alternating with, you know, uh, uh, Dean Martin and Liza Minnelli and George Carlin and all the superstars and going out there and still loving doing it. Now it's been, uh, whatever it's been, 25 years, I guess, maybe closer to 30. We've been playing casinos all over the country. We played, I think, every major casino in the country. And uh, we went back to New York this summer and played Broadway and sold out and did wonderfully and had great audiences and great reviews. And what we mostly wanted to do when we were on Broadway is get back to playing the casinos because this is where we belong. And thank you all so much. Thank you, Joel Fisher. We love being here. We love being at the